guys, welcome back to BMW Fanatic. In this video, I'm gonna share some very important maintenance items that will fail and you will need to replace them once you get past that 100,000 mile mark. Now on my 2008 BMW 335i, I am at 155,000 miles. I did buy it at 92,000 miles almost five years ago. So that's almost five years of ownership. Those costs will be coming here soon so that way I can give you guys the breakdown as far as everything that I've replaced. So I do have DIYs on the majority of these things that I'm gonna be bringing up. So I will be sharing the card that you'll see at the top, take you right to the DIYs so that way you guys can go ahead and take care of those items. Now, I have had plenty of cars in the past and even though the N54 gets a lot of bad hype as far as high price things, maintenance items that come up, that can be true if you take it to the dealership and pay that high price as far as labor goes. So just the DIYs that I'm gonna share with you today, they're gonna to save you well over $3,000 just in the DIY labor alone. You could do it all from your home. It's not too bad to do. Have the proper tools. I have all that covered in all those videos so that way you guys can check that out. So let's head over to the engine bay, cover those pieces so we'll be good to go. The first one right out of the gate is gonna be your O2 sensor. So here I'm using a 22 millimeter wrench, a shorty one, just because of the pre-cat O2 sensors are extremely hard to get to, but they're fairly easy to change out once you remove the belly pan and stick your hand all the way up through there. Uh, they run up through the side of the engine bay right there, and then you have to tuck them all along the back. These last only that 100,000 mile mark and therefore control all of your fueling. So they are very important to change out and a must do uh, when you're on this platform. For longevity of your BMW, you're gonna wanna use a high quality oil uh, such as what I'm using. So I'm using 0W40 because it's a winner and I'm using Liquid Moly uh, just because it is a high quality, high performance oil uh, for your German automobile such as the BMW. Uh, so 6.8 quarts uh, total to fill up and I change it out every 5,000 miles. Uh, here just topping it off because you will need to do two different jugs. Next are the expensive procedures uh, if you would take it to the dealer. So here, this is the valve cover complete replacement. Highly recommend uh, replacing the entire valve cover once you pass the 100,000 mile mark. So here I'm removing this. This is $1,200 at your normal dealership uh, charge. But for a couple hours, you can change it out with just simple tools. It is time consuming just because everything that you have to remove out of the way. But this will give you the sure look as far as uh, how your internal engine is doing, right? As far as do you have any slow Sludge buildup at 155,000 miles. Uh, my internal engine looks really good, and I was actually quite pleased with it and satisfied as far as how it is. So definitely very important, and they leak extremely all too often, even before the 100,000 mile mark. And it's good to change it out. Now, Vanos solenoids, uh, you can get out from the front of the engine bay. Uh, sometimes people will clean them if you get Vanos codes. Uh, you know, it's better off just to replace them once you have the codes because cleaning them will just kind of prolong it a little bit, but they will eventually come back up again as far as code wise. Just better to replace it. Easy DIY comes right in the front and then it is uh, one of the things that you can check off on your list. Now this DIY is the injectors. Uh, I replaced them with Index 12. That's the newest revision for BMW injectors. And I was having issues a little after the 100,000 mile mark to where I was having fuel mixture codes. Uh, I was not having a great idle, it was very rough, it would stutter all kinds of issues that I ran into. Uh, doing the DIY you know, saved me an easy $600 uh, versus taking it to the dealer. A couple tools that you use. Other than that and some uh, calibration as far as programming goes, it was quick, easy and out for all six and my car drives and idles that much better than what it did before. When you have a BMW, you're gonna have vacuum lines. So on the twin turbo charge or even the single turbo, uh, as far as the N55, you know, there are vacuum lines that control the wastegate and how they operate and a lot of other pieces that it connects to. So properly going through your vacuum lines and just replacing them with the right silicone hose uh, will help prolong the life so that way you don't have boost leaks uh, or that way you don't have any kind of different idling issues that can come up about it. A lot of pieces with vacuum lines can be determined just by the age of it. So best rule of thumb, if you're past that 100,000 mile mark and you've never changed out any of your vacuum hoses, just go through your entire engine bay and replace every single one. 
So outside of the valve cover gasket that, I have, that you have here, another important one is gonna be your oil cooler gasket and your oil filter housing gasket. Now the oil cooler is on all the sport package models. Uh, sometimes on the early 2007s, even if you have the sport package, they will not be equipped. They come in a little bit later in that uh, production period. But if you have that, that's also printedly because it'll puddle up here. Uh, it can also come out the front just like on your oil filter housing gasket, get down your belt, your drive belt and then has a potential of slipping off and the belt getting stuck through your crank seal on your front there. And then another main important piece is your main drive belt and tensioner. Uh, once you get that 100,000 mile mark, you wanna definitely replace that out because the tensioner will start squeaking, your belt could be uh, cracking and then therefore breaking off. It's a very easy and much needed maintenance item that you're gonna want to make sure to take off and physically do. All right guys, there you have it. Some very important, much needed parts that you will need to replace once you're in that past 100,000 mile mark on your BMW. A lot of this stuff, like I mentioned, can be done DIY, sourcing the parts at a great price as far as online goes and not going to the dealership so you don't pay the overprice and so you do not take your car to the dealership to have those repairs done because you guys can do it. Follow my DIYs that I mentioned in all my different pieces within this video so that way you guys can be able to do this on yourself and do it on your time and that way you guys can save that money in your pocket and that's probably the biggest thing i always want to try to sell back is that anyone can do these things you can save the money you can drive the bmw that you want to drive at whatever age or whatever budget and have a good experience with uh, and not be hit with a three thousand dollar bill that you have to fork out so outside of that important informational stuff as far as that way you guys are well aware of what's going on, what you need to replace, change, and look out for. Now I'm a big firm believer as far as preventative maintenance. That way if those if these things aren't failing on your BMW, go ahead and replace them. If you're at the 100,000 mile mark and they're still going fine, just replace them. Because that's gonna be so much less downtime if you run into an issue later down the road to where they do break. And therefore you could be stranded or you don't have the parts yet and you have to wait. So preventive maintenance is another big one that I try to instill in you guys as well uh, since it helps with the ownership and getting the parts replaced because 100,000 miles is a, definitely a lot of miles from when the part is new to all the heat cycles and everything that those certain parts go through on a day-to-day -day basis when you drive it. Thanks everyone for stopping in and as always please be sure to subscribe, smash that like button, comment below and uh, new DIY coming tomorrow. Take care.